Today I'm at TCI. We're going to be doing testing uh, the transmission, the, the forfer. But I did get something awesome. Sorry it's noise here, but special build. We got 904, high stall, highest they can make it. And we're going to be putting this into there. And we're going to go test this on the dyno and make sure everything does makes worky, makes noises, does all the correct stuff, like put turn here and have turny out here. And we're going to try all the different inputs. So here it is, all bolted up. Uh, we got fluid in it, got everything. Um, we're gonna run it on the TCI dyno here. This is an older dyno, but it works just fine. I like this one because um, for the slant sixes, because it, it's only got you know 500 foot-pounds of torque uh, capacity, so it works good for what I'm gonna do. So yeah, uh, right now lunchtime's happening. We're gonna do that and then come back in just a few minutes, but kind of get an overview of how we're gonna do it. We've also got this one here. This one's got 800 foot-pounds of torque capacity, and I do a lot of uh, testing of converters on this thing, which is amazing because um, it will data log everything, and I can simulate. So if someone gives me the parameters of their car, that my car weighs X amount, makes X amount of foot-pounds of torque, um, here's my gear, my tire size, we can replicate that on the brake here, put the, the torque into here, and then we can test the stall. Um, I'm going to test the stall differently over there, but here I can actually get a print out of it. So uh, it's one thing that TCI's got is this uh, this awesome this awesome uh, dyno right here. So yeah, and all the fluid gets circle circulated through, goes through five different filters, and it's brought up to temperature. Right now it's 150 degrees, so it's an awesome awesome piece. So yeah, we're going to get back to that in just a moment. So we just started the turn on it. And now it's just turning as you can see right in there. So we're activating to make sure that we got line pressure and flow. So we got flow going on right now. You can see the flow. What's that? Now remember it's a reverse manual valve body, so. Sorry if it's a little long, but that's what it takes to, to test these things. Right now it's got about 125, 124 PSI right now. So it's, it's now full, you can see right there. Are you trying reverse? Yeah, reverse has got to, you got to use the trans brake. So there's reverse. So on reverse, you have to Apply the trans brake right there. That's first. Second. There's third. I built the transmission that works, yay! Just kidding. A lot of pressure, 170 pounds, 130. Thank you.
Yeah. Yeah, it should be one to one when it when it locks up. Did it lock up? Good. Yep. So it's got a, there's lock up one to one. You can see it right there. I'll zoom in on it. Showing lock up right there. Now we're going to try the trans brake. Let her eat, dude. I'd rather blow it up here than in the car. <laughs> All right. So, just going to push the button. There it goes. Beautiful. Hey Jeff! Give it what? What? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's from a Ford guy. That's Mr. Jeff Reed, if you don't know. So there it is. So we got trans brake. Now here's one. Can we do trans brake and then and then lock it up? So trans brake. And then while it's going into uh, into second, he's gonna lock it up, go third, and then lock it up. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put this thing we're gonna beat on this thing a little bit. Just trans brake. He's taking it off, putting it on there. Lock that sucker up. Right now, you can see it. There it is. Locks up one to one. Woohoo! There it is. Test a good transmission. I'm happy with it. We're going to beat on it a little bit here. But that's. Test the temperature. Yeah. I know this is a long video, but I wanted to show you this is unscripted. This is basically just how it goes. But this is what every transmission at TCI, this is how it gets tested, just like this. Is it a pass? All right, so passes, it gets his approval. This is the man, he tests them all, so awesome. So we're back from the dyno. And uh, we're going to take the pan off and we're going to inspect some things and make sure everything's good. But this is what I had to do. So this is a 150,000 step in there. So I just came in here with a manual mill and just took out, took this out. So that way it had a little bit of clearance on this end right here. I did call it Mr. Cope, the Val Body King of Chicago. He calls it Chicago. I'm going to call it the world. But anyways, just what it is. Um, I did tell him that, you know, I noticed the pressures were just a little low, but... Once again, you know, there's a lot of differences in these transmissions. That's why I put it on the dyno to check it. That's why you should put everything on a dyno, transmission or engine. And he told me to give this about two and a half turns because I was at about 150 or so in forward or 140. You can see on the dyno. So what I'm going to do is you can see where I put a little mark on there. And then I have a special little tool right here um, that I had from way back when. And once again, your book comes in handy. Turn the screw clockwise to decrease and counterclockwise to increase pressure. So we're going to go counterclockwise on this. He told me two and a half turns. Uh, I'm going to do that and go from there. Now, on this transmission, I didn't do it on this one because you can see right there, right? But on this one here, you can see this has got his valve body number one. This is the first valve body ever made. Um, I have this little piece here that I had put in there. I can pull this out and I can adjust the pressure on the fly. Um, this is my 904 
that was in the Cookie Monster. Here's a little tech tip. If you're doing this, you know, put them in like this, and then that way when you're raising, and then when you pull it down like that, that's a quarter of a turn. And then when you pop it back out, you can put it right back in there and do another quarter turn because, you know, this little area gets in the way of right there. So I had already done my my uh, turn, so that, that's, that right there is two and a half. So anyways, yeah, so the mark's on the bottom now. It's right down here. So I got two and a half turns on that thing, and John says that that's good. So we're going to put this thing back on. We're going to clean this out right here because it just got, you know, obviously whenever you do a new transmission, there's always a little bit of schmeg in there. We're going to take the clean off the schmeg. We're going to put this thing back in, and this thing's going to be done. Okay, so the transmission's done. And, uh, yeah, this is getting ready to go back into the car, but we had to name it first. So I had to put on here the forfer. If you don't understand, you'll never get it. Go watch some Oak Island, and maybe you'll catch the joke. But it's a com combined effort of... John Cope Racing for the valve body, TCI converter, and a lot of the parts inside internally. Um, John Wilburn, he, he donated some parts uh, unwillingly. Um, he didn't know about it, but now he, he's part of it. And also Slant Daily Garage. So we got the forfer going into Plan Z. And uh, today, I'm going to try to get that in there. That's going to be next week. All right. See you later.